What's going on guys? Jax the Bearded Hiker here. So in today's video, we're gonna be dry aging a beef brisket for 45 days. I got a 17.9 pound massive brisket here that I picked up at my local big box store. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be dry aging it in our refrigerator using the Umai dry bags. Now, if you don't know much about the Umai dry bags, you can go check out a previous video that I did on dry aging some ribeyes. Essentially what it is, is you have these Umai dry bags and it acts like a membrane. So, so what we're gonna be doing is, is we're gonna be using the uh, clean transfer system, I think they call it. And you do that by transferring it from one bag to the other. And you do that also by slicing off the top of this and then draining all your liquid out, slicing down the bottom of this bag but before you do any of that slicing, you wanna make sure that you take some soap and water and you wipe this down before we do any cutting. So we'll do that and then I'll be back with you and show you how we transfer this. All right, so we're about ready to transfer this brisket into our my bag. Now what I've done here is I've just kind of folded the bag over, all right? So we don't get contaminate this top here. So we just got to fold in here. Now we're gonna just turn around and we're gonna get our brisket. We're gonna walk it in. All right, now this is a little tricky here. So what you're gonna do is just kind of walk your brisket in. It's, it helps if you got a little bit of help. You just shove it in just like that. All right, once you get in like that, you just take your bag off here. Got a little bit of blood in there. All right, now that we got that in there. So what you wanna do now is take the end of your bag here and crumple it up because we're gonna be using, to, to seal this, what they call, what Umai calls the vac mouse. So you got the crinkle up there like that. Let me, I'm gonna show you what the vac mouse looks like here. It's just a little white piece of uh, thing. It almost looks like a, a dryer sheet, uh, but that'll go in and that'll help to evacuate the air out of this. But before we do that, as you can see, my uh, food saver here is not big enough so what we're going to do is we're going to do a seal just a regular seal not a vac but a seal across the corner so what we'll do well, let's do this side so you can see better all right so we're getting ready to seal our first seal here And for good measure, it looks like we got a good seal, but just for a good measure, we're gonna, I'm gonna move it forward a little bit and do one more seal here. Or again, no big deal, it's just a safety seal. All right, that looks good too. Okay, now moving on. So what we're gonna do here, so we'll put our back mouse in, just like so. You just lay it in there just like that, and now we're going to do a vacuum seal. Alright. Alright, so we're nice and sealed up there. Now, depending on what type of food saver or vacuum sealer you have. It's all about technique here. Just uh, plug along. Is sometimes you have a little bit of problems with these, sometimes you don't. We're gonna go stick this in our refrigerator and we'll see you in 45 days. Been 45 days. We got about, uh, roughly about just shy of a four pound weight loss. You can see we got a little bit of air in here, but <clears throat> it's stuck pretty good, so. Let's take this out and uh, give it a smell. Make sure there's no foul odors and whatnot. I'm liking it.
Oh yeah, she's looking good. All right, so all I'm doing here is just trimming this bark off and you'll know you know when you get to the meat portion here this it's a little bit softer tissue and this other this kind of waxy stuff is what we're trimming off got a nice mahogany color there So again, we're just trimming this brisket up and just trimming all of it on both sides and the sides. Just getting all that hard, hard crusty layer off there. Alright, uh, I think we got her nice and pretty much trimmed up here, but look at her. She is beautiful. Um, a little bit thin on this end and I'm gonna let, let me turn her over here a little thin on this end right here so that'll probably dry out and uh, I noticed on this brisket there's not I mean the fat cat was not not that thick so just got this little spot right here that don't have fat on it so uh, I don't know but I think she'll be I think she's gonna be nice all right so uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this brisket up in some saran wrap. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. It's kind of late in the afternoon, so I don't want to put it on the smoker right now. First thing in the morning, I'll put this sucker on the uh, Masterbuilt Gravity Series 560. Hopefully I should have a video out, and if I do, you can check that video out here in the cards, or I will leave a link in the description to that video. Also, if you're interested in dry aging ribeyes, I already did a video on that. And I'll leave that up in the cards and also a link in the description. All right, guys, dry-aged brisket for 45 days at home in your refrigerator.